Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to talk about building blocks of SPOC test cases like import statement, some detail about a specification class and we'll talk about fields. So for that let's create one groovy file. So right click, go to new, click on file and give the file name a specification class dot groovy. So here we can see that a specification class dot groovy has been created and since we are talking about the spoke test case so for that we need to call some sort of class and those classes are going to reside into spoke dot lang package because whenever we need to create any object of any class then qualified package name is required so here we will write import spoke dot lang this is the package name dot start so we are just going to call all the classes those are going to reside inside this spock.lang package so this is the import statement that is sufficiently used to write any of the test case using spock now the second thing comes specification class so specification class are the groovy class those are going to extend a specification class defined in spoc.lang package and once we extend it we have all the methods to perform our specification related action and in general if we are talking about the wikipedia or oxford dictionary definition of a specification then it says a descriptive detail of design to create something it means inside this class we are going to give the detail that what kind of requirement we have to fulfill so let's create the specification class class specification class and we have to extend it with the specification class taken from spock.lang package and just give the curly braces and now we are done with the specification class one more thing that I have just forgot to mention, like whenever we are just going to create any specification class, then we should give some descriptive name to that specific class so that we can understand what kind of action we are just going to handle. And in general, if we are just dealing with any of the module, then as per my understanding, name of the class should be pretty similar to the module to which we are just going to write test cases so here i have just taken a specification class because we were just talking about a specification now inside this we need instance fields and instance fields are used to initialize objects those are going to be needed inside this specification class so suppose we are just going to create one object of sum of two number class that i have already created so let's create the object of this sum of two number so def obj equal to new sum of two numbers so here we have just created one instance field now there are some limitations suppose we are just trying to use this object in more than one feature method then every time each of the feature methods are going to use a own object instance with the help of this instance field so let's see one example i'm just going to create one feature method so for time being just take it as a feature method we will discuss more about this so def feature method one and inside this i'm just going to write given and going to call this object i'm just going to copy this paste it and here in place of one going to write two so you will be thinking like what kind of action i'm just going to do so let's get back to this sum of two number class so inside this i have created one constructor sum of two number and inside this i am just generating random number to identify whether we are using the same object because whenever some object will be initialized it will generate some different random number so let's see so here i am just getting back to a specification class dot groovy and going to save this class and going to run it as j unit test and here we can see that it has generated two different random number it means this object is not same in both feature classes now the question arises what if if we need similar object 
in both of the feature methods. In that case, there is one more annotation inside the spoke.lang package that is at the rate shared. And if we are just going to use this shared annotation, then these two feature methods are going to use the same object. So save it and run it. So here we can see that only one object has been created since only one random number has been generated. So this is all about the instance field.